Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Muscle here. Working on uh, my C4 today. Uh, this is uh, the 96 with the LT4 motor. Uh, just picked up this one here. This is also a 96, but this one has an automatic trans with a LT1 motor. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, what I'm doing on this one here is I'm replacing uh, some of, or uh, I'm actually going to be replacing both of these door hinges. I've got a problem with the door sagging. And I end up ended up getting some nice hinges off of this car, so we're gonna. Uh, you see, I got one there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace those. But anyways, uh, I've been asked to make uh, some more C4 videos, so here's here's this one for you. <clears throat> this is the uh, LT4 car that I brought back from pretty much nothing. Uh, it's still it's still a little rough on the uh, body, but uh, as far as the drivetrain goes, this car is pristine, pristine, pristine. I mean, this motor is flawless. The transmission is flawless. And the rear uh, Dana 44 axle is flawless. Uh, let me actually, I can't open that. I got the hinge off. Ooh, almost slipped on that one, guys. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna be replacing this hood. This hood doesn't uh, doesn't look so so hot here with the paint faded off of it on the inside. Um, also, this is actually a 92 hood, and it's not uh, the correct. It's it's a little bit different than the 96 hood in, in the respect that these uh, Torx bolts here uh, are actually uh, in the later years. Uh, turned into uh, rivets, so they riveted them. So when I replaced that uh, hood with this one, uh, it would actually go back to being the right hood for the vehicle. But here, here's the uh, 96 that I just picked up. This one is uh, 96. Like I said, is a LT1 car. Uh, this car has, uh, let's see, I think it has about 45,000 miles and some change. Let's see if I can get this guy to focus. Yep, 45, 965 on the clock. Let's fire it up. She fires right up. Good oil pressure. Uh, doesn't run hot. I had an issue when I first got it. Uh, it was kind of uh, sluggish and lagging and kind of misfiring and throwing all kinds of weird codes. So um, I had an issue. I'll show you what the, one of the issues was. I've had a, had a the pigtail that goes down into the uh, Opti Spark is here, and this is basically uh, the distributor. I don't, know if I, I don't know if you can see that real well, but uh, yeah, some of the wires here are bare, and they were touching this metal bracket that sits right in this valley here. So after I took those apart, it ran a little better. Uh, but what I had to do is actually I had to change the fuel filter on this car. When I pulled out the fuel filter. Uh, it was the the fuel filter was there was it was just black inside the fuel filter. I poured it into a cup, a clear plastic cup, and by morning when the uh, uh, you know the settlement uh, settled down at the bottom, you know all the sediment settled at the bottom of the cup. It was it was a nice black layer of I, I'm not sure what it was, but it was just black and nasty. So uh, changed the fuel filter on that. Uh, ran a a whole bottle of seafoam through the intake. Uh, in hopes to help clean up uh, some of the intake uh, deposits and also ran a whole bottle of uh, seafoam in the fuel tank in hopes to help uh, clear up some of the injectors. Uh, when, I, when I fire it up, it fires right up, but if you actually get on it, it kind of has like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a little hesitation between, uh, between idle and like 1200 RPM. So uh, I know the uh, 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 excuse me, the uh, the fuel injectors are gummed up or plugged up and it might sort itself out. If not, those fuel injectors might have to be uh, replaced or cleaned. So that's it for now on that one. But this uh, this, uh, this is going to be a parts car. I'm going to end up using that hood. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be swapping the hood. So this is going to end up having the hood back here and then also uh, the rear bumper. I'm going to use the rear bumper with the lights uh, from this one onto this one. Uh, the rear bumper on this one's okay, but it had a uh, bunch of areas where uh, it had been worked on, and like you see Bondo and Putty there, uh, some more primer and Bondo there, uh, same thing. So th this uh, this bumper uh, I'm not going to use. I'm going to try to use. Um, well, I'm going to use that bumper, uh, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take these quarters. These quarters, if you go back on some of my older videos, you can see all these holes that were drilled in here but you'll see if you went back on some of my older videos on this car 
uh, you'll see why I, uh, I say that I brought it back from nothing. It was actually a little less than nothing the way this car had been abused and what was done to it. But anyways, I've got the quarters on this one. They're, they're one piece. They're both stuck together. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let's walk over here to the backyard. Okay, so this is the uh, quarter panel section that I got. This is the uh, quarter on this side and this side. We've got the driver and passenger both. Uh, they're still mended together. Uh, they meant there's a point in, in here where they kind of fuse together. And that's the whole section. So what I have to do is I have to try to take that one off uh, as, uh, as a complete unit and try to lay that one in there. But uh, like I mentioned to a couple, a couple people, I'm not a fiberglass expert and I, I'm not sure how to how to tackle this job but I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it and if I can get it done uh, I'll keep going but if I if, actually I'm sorry if, if I think I can get it done I'm gonna keep going but if I if I look you know if, if I see that I'm messing things up or something might not come out right then I'm gonna have to call in an expert on that so that's that so I'm gonna try to get this car here uh, I don't know uh, 2018 I don't know let's say uh, I don't know, by the end of the year, I want to have this car pretty much uh, either just all done with everything that I want to do to it, uh, minus the paint job, and then, you know, maybe uh, uh, just need a paint job at the end of the year, so uh, as far as the drivability of the car, it's all there, it's, it's that, that's ready to go, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, as far as this car is concerned, uh, I'm going to be piecing this car out, a lot of the parts are going to be up for sale, uh, except for the ones, obviously, that I'm going to use. Uh, this is a parts car. I've got another. I've got a C5 that's coming in. I don't know. It depends on when I go pick it up. It's either going to come in on Monday, which is uh, tomorrow, or Wednesday, uh, and I'll shoot a video on that. I'll try to try to get a video on it. This is the old uh, the old hinge on there. I think somebody tried to replace the pin on it. I was beating the shit out of it. So yeah, this this one's this one's got like almost a quarter inch of play. I mean, the door's sagging pretty pretty damn bad on these it's about an eighth inch in sag there so uh, once I get the hinges done on this I'll move on to something else but uh, that's pretty much the objective for the day is, is get that door lined up get it perfect uh, and then also uh, I've been working on my El Camino here uh, lately so I've got uh, some of this stuff in here with the heater box and uh, the new master and uh, booster there uh, also the steering I'm gonna go over I'm gonna shoot another video on this car I haven't shot any videos on this car actually, uh, but uh, I'm gonna shoot another video on this car and and I'll tell you what I'll, what's going on there. Also, I've been asked uh, for updates on the trailer. This is my trailer here. Uh, I've been asked for updates on that. I'm gonna shoot a separate video on that. Uh, but for now, that's that. And I'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up, let me know, send me a message, write it down, take a picture, you know what I mean? Alright guys, have fun. I'll see you on the next one.